Daisy straight left to fend for themselves. And that's what a Palm Beach Gardens family says happened to their little girl and her classmates on the way home from summer school. News Channel 5's Jeff Spryfick joins us live in Lake Park with a story you'll only see on 5. Jeff. Well, Ashley, despite our attempts, the school district has yet to comment, but the sheriff's office telling us tonight they were alerted to the situation after two little girls were found huddled under this BP gas station. If you take a look at this map, it's a couple miles away from where the parents say they were supposed to be dropped off, and tonight they say it's not only unacceptable, but it's dangerous. Oh, and digging through her bag for her homework, nine-year-old Elise Gonzalez is safe and sound with her parents after living through what she calls a nightmare. It's really scary and really worried that I wouldn't ever see them again. She says on her way home from summer school at Eisenhower Elementary, her bus driver dropped her off at this Burger King on North Lake. As she and another classmate wandered the busy streets for a way home, her mom, Andy, says she waited miles away at her designated bus stop. Uh, it's parents were scared for their parent to get another job not to show up. Panicked, Andy and her husband, Daniel, saying they called 911. Horrible things happen every day, and a lot of parents don't get to see their kids because of mistakes like that. Lost, the girls have wandered to this BP gas station. If you sell that little girl and you heard her crying, I want my... You can't possibly leave that and, and sleep at night. It, it would haunt you. A father of a young child, Alfredo Gonzalez, spotted the girls and called the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. BPSO says school district police are now investigating. My daughter is nine years old. She never wants to ride a bus again. And that's horrible to think of, that she would feel that way. And I don't want for anyone's child, I don't want for any parent to have to worry about their child. This family is just thankful for Alfredo, the man they call their hero. Alex, I thank you very much. You, you are a good guy. Now, the Gonzalez family says all they've been told so far is that the situation is under investigation. They tell us tonight that until some sort of changes are made, they're going to be dropping off and picking up their daughter themselves. Reporting live tonight here in Lake Park, I'm Jeff Strike at Fox 29 News. Frustrated firefighters in Martin County are venting again tonight over a trauma helicopter.